Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video. Um, I was watering my uh, species Phalaenopsis. It's a hieroglyphica. But I was watering it and um, actually was soaking it and letting the water just run up from the bottom. And I saw these little tiny bugs. Not a bunch of them, maybe like two or three of them. They started like crawling around on you know, in the media, and, uh, I actually saw them the other day, a couple days ago, and I just kind of, like, <clears throat> I was in denial, and <laughs> so, uh, so today when I was watering, I saw them again, and, um, I looked a little closer, and I looked at one of the roots, and it looked like it had some of that, like, white, it looked like, like a little egg colony or something on one of the roots and you might be able to see it right right here I don't think it's gonna focus but and there was another area that I saw it on they look like little white fuzzies um, and I had googled it to see what it was and I'm not a hundred percent sure but those bugs that I saw were enough to freak me out and just like go into like protection and conserve life mode. So I took it out and I cleaned it up as good as I could. And I tossed the media out. And um, this plant was established. It was it, it was happy sitting in the media it was in. But I've had this for a little bit over three years. Like three years and maybe like three years and two months probably because I got it just before before my son was born so um which kind of like it's kind of sentimental because of that but um yeah so I it was sitting in that media and you know it, it's happy it was developing roots and it was established and I had to pull the bark off of some of these roots and I'm sure I caused it a little bit of damage and I, bro I actually broke off one new root tip and I was a little pissed about it but you know that's the price you pay for keeping one of your plants alive you know I'd rather have one damaged root than have the entire thing die so whatever so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on pause and I'm gonna repot it. Actually, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a a spray solution to spray the roots down and <coughs> probably just spray the the whole plant down. And um, we'll see where we go from there. You see, this is a, a a new leaf that popped out a couple weeks ago, and it's it's been grow growing really well. And it's been growing really well in the in the window where I've had it for. For forever so um, it's a species orchid like I said and uh, I think like a year ago year and a half ago it it had a spike and it the spike grew out but it never flowered it didn't do anything it kind of just like stunted so like an idiot I cut it off and Later I found out that on species Phalaenopsis, you're not supposed to cut off the spike. So I don't know when I'll get another spike, but as long as it's growing foliage and the roots are growing, uh, you know, then I'll be happy. I'll be patient because I have a bunch of other orchids that are doing well right now and are not uh, infested with mealybugs. So... Anyway, uh, the Neo, Neo Finnish of Falcata, I have like seven of those guys, and they're doing really well. Um, and I went to an Orchid Society, Society meeting the other night, and I found out that they're actually now, they're not Neo Finnish of Falcata anymore, they're actually Vanda, they're in the Vanda Alliance, so, which, I mean, we all know that there are many Vandas anyways, but, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, this is, uh... So what's going on? Mealy bugs.
you can see some of those new root tips and this is the one that I broke right here all right well, I'm gonna make that spray and spray it down and then uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I've repotted it <laughs> 